to St. Lord Caravan Salon, 31st of August 2017. Last day of August, it's as though it was the last day of the summer, although I realise the last day of the summer is really in the third week of September, but I think for all intents and purposes it's the last day of August. Oh dear, that's a pity. Anyway, so camper vans may be something being put to the back of people's minds, but not of mine because I believe they should be used all the year round. This van in front of me is a clever van, that to say it's manufactured by, so the brand name is clever, and this one's called a Flex 3, sorry, Flex 636 Hawk. Hawk means high, it costs 49,000 euros. It's on a Citroen basis. Not many vans are on the Citroen, it's, they've got around a 5% market share at, at, at present. Let's have a look inside. So 636 will be the length. 636 centimeters. Hawk means high, and you can see it is pretty high inside. So that's quite a positive thing. And if we come inside, I stand up here, sit down in the driver's seat, and I would say I've got about, what, two meters ten of clearance. That's a rough guess. It's harder for me to get a better accurate uh, height when I'm sort of standing with my hand, my hand in the air. Uh, when I just stand up and put my hand over my head, and it's much easier because I know how tall I am and how big my hand is. Right, let's have a look at the table. Well, it's a small table, but it does extend by one third. At the back, you can see you've got two beds which can be joined together, but if you don't want them joined together, you don't have to. Alternatively, if you want to use the space for carrying stuff, you can do, and indeed, you can put the bed up so it gives you more space there you go something like that now uh, the bed however is quite low so that will affect the amount of space you've got personally if I were doing something like that I'd have the, the bed as high as possible the thing here though is because you've got all this storage and the storage itself comes down to quite a low point now look how much storage is in there it's you know it's quite big really. It's quite enormous amount of storage. You can see how the van bends on the outside, so it's profiled accordingly. Now, you may think this is a rather dark in here, which has happened not only because we're indoors, but because there's not enough natural light coming from outside. We've got two skylights. But uh, with the colour of the wood and the shape of the wood, I think we could do with it a little bit more. We've got the fridge here on the right, and plenty of storage uh, beneath it. Now, if we come into the bathroom, and right, well, there's something in the toilet, but I don't think it's a problem. It's a cellar uh, tape or something. Um, sorry, there's no light. Never mind. You can see what's going on. It's a big, it's a big toilet anyway. It's, um, and it's got, it's got a window in. Right. Okay. So it may, it may be a clever van, but I think it's, uh, it's missing some details here, in my opinion. Uh, let's have a look, though. I did mention the winter coming along. There you've got the Truma iNet. Brilliant system that is. Anyway, I've done that before. Someone films, people will be thinking I'm working for Truma. Right, well, I think if I want for one of their vans, I'd go for that one there, the slider, only I don't know how much it costs, but you can see that in another film. So, if you're interested in seeing more motorhomes, please have a look at my site. I'll try and get some information about this, www.motorhomefulltime.com, uh, there may be a link to this van on that site, and if there isn't, it's because I don't know anything else more than what I've already said. As I pull back here, you can see the two skylights in the roof. They are actually uh, quite big. Uh, how you actually open them, I'm not too certain, given the, the height of the, uh, the roof. That's unusual, isn't it? A chance to complain the height of a roof. Normally, it's the other way around. It's not high enough, and I'm not complaining. Just pointing out, it would be difficult to get up there. Oh, and incidentally, 
there's music going on in the background. I just have to point this out for copyright reasons. Uh, it's nothing to do with this film. Uh, it's background music. I have, uh, it's just ruining my film. That's more than it is already. And I'm saying this so that YouTube knows, should there be a claim, that I have, I, I appreciate it's copyright music, but really I want it turned off when I'm filming. So that should be sufficient to say that this film should not be taken down for copyright claim on whoever did that music in the background. Thank you and sorry for the boring bit at the end.